What's going on guys? Um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to build a Batman helmet for the Batman suit of the Ark Knight series. Uh, here is the uh, finished product. Anyways, yeah, really cool. Join me! This is my friend Ed. Is short for head and I've modified him to match the size of my head which is important when you want the mask to fit when you're done I got my reference picture this will give me a good idea whether to place the ear on the head I mean Ed I'm gonna draw out my ears on a cardboard paper which I'm gonna later cut and attach to Ed and if you're thinking that these ears may be too big you're probably right but you always want to double check and make sure ask a friend even if his opinion doesn't matter I'm taking several pieces and taping them together and trying to get the shape that I'm looking for I'm cutting out all the pieces and making sure that the patterns are right now I only need one side because Batman's got a pretty symmetric head you can just flip the patterns over cut the other side I'm taking the cheapest glue I can find gluing this high-tech template maker you can pick this up at any grocery store as for plastic when they ask you paper or plastic you're gonna want to make sure you get all the corners and crevices and just focus on one side you're gonna take some duct tape and form a little cast over it just tape it over all the pieces and make sure you squeeze down on all the the eyes section you know the ears just make sure you get all the spots really good and just capture all the features that it has to offer. Now you're gonna take a sharpie and draw lines where you know the sharp edges of the head, the pattern, I guess, follow the contour of the head. And then take your X-Acto knife and stab Ed in the head. He doesn't mind. You wanna make sure you get the line as straight as possible. This will help you cut cleaner patterns. Um, straight curvy line, as in not jagged, curvy lines and then go down the center of the head and you want to make sure you get this one as straight as possible um, I usually go slightly bigger if I need to make it smaller I can always cut cut down the middle and then glue it back together I am going to transfer my duct tape patterns onto a cardboard paper that way it'd be easier for me to transfer the patterns onto EVA foam I'm using six millimeter silly winky foam sheets and a silver marker so I can see what I am cutting. You're gonna want to cut two of each pattern. You don't have to worry about flipping the patterns over because this foam sheet looks the same on either side. Apply some heat, get a little bit of form on there for gluing it together. I like to use the corner of my table since it's rounded, but you can use your knee if you don't have a corner of a table. I do recommend getting a table. This is one side of the head and this is the centerpiece. I am working on cutting out the ear pieces. Lay down some barge cement glue and wait about five minutes before attaching everything together. You attach it together, you wanna make sure you line up all your hash marks. I usually do one side first and then I do the other side of the head and then I glue both sides of the head together. Now here I'm making some adjustments to the ear because it was a tad bit big. I uh, wanted to shorten it down a little bit. I would glue the inner piece of the ear to the center piece and then I'd glue the outer piece of the helmet, the mask, to the center. This makes it easier to put it all together. And you always want to make sure you get your hash marks lined up correctly before you commit to gluing it all together because it becomes a pain in the ass. I have to take it apart. I'm not going to focus on the eyes and the nose just yet. And now you got a really cool little storage compartment in your ears. Wouldn't be a bad idea to cut some slots there so you can have some ventilation. Maybe put some fan in there for some air conditioning, which is a good idea. I'm attaching both sides of the helmet together. You wanted to make sure you get it nice and straight, smooth. It'd be less sanding. Now I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm going to form the eyebrows and some of the contours of the forehead now you don't want to go too hard when you are pressing and pulling on the foam because the last thing you want to do is to rip your mask apart 
I've done it before and it sucks, especially when you're this far in the project. Now, I've already measured my eyes, tested it, and put it on. That's how I like my eyes. Yeah, we're just gonna cut it out like that. I'm gonna do some more heat forming, get a little more detail to the forehead, more details to the eyebrow. I'm using a pinch and pull method and push and curve and all kinds of stuff. And hopefully, if you followed my instruction properly, it should look something like this. Maybe better. Don't forget to work out all the little kinks on the back too. I'm cutting out the pieces for my nose, giving myself a Batman nose job. Before you glue your nose to the mask, you want to make sure you get the shape really close to what you want and then glue the nose on. Now you're probably thinking, wow, what a messed up nose job. But when you go to fold it down and glue the uh, rest of the pieces together, then you have yourself a really nice nose bridge. You're going to want to try it on a couple times and mark your spots. So that way when you can glue it down, you don't want the nose piece to press down on your face. You want to make sure everything is nice and comfortable and not in your face. And now you want to just form everything, make sure everything is all nice and smooth. I took a Dremel and I sanded down all the ear pieces and the eyes and and anything else that matters, like the edges. I'm taking some one inch elastic straps and I'm gluing the chin pieces together. Now it's not very difficult to put on, but you know, take some skills. And there you have it. So far, this is how the mask looks like. I will paint it in the next video. And here is the back view. Um, as you can tell, I can then turn my head. Um, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like it share comment make sure you share with somebody who might enjoy this video who's trying to build a batman helmet and want to do it on a cheap i also wanted to show you guys the other helmets that i made from the arkham knight game series this guy right here he's the uh scarecrow and it's, it's hard it's not just a burlap bag over your head Which I plan on doing some Arkham Knight, the character himself. And here is a little sneak peek. Alright, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos of me building awesome stuff. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.